Hello. I'm going to try to do this in one take, but this is the 2023 Ragley Big Al in the aqua color. If you look at it, it's got pearl flakes. It's not exactly teal, flat teal. In fact, it, it's very hard to photograph this color. It looks very different in the pictures versus what it actually looks like. And here is my well-worn 21 Big Al. One thing about the Ragleys that I absolutely hate is the way how these cable management works. The hardware is made out of cheese. And I knew I wasn't going to keep this frame long term. So it got stuck. I didn't even put it tight. The, the um, Loctite did so well and since it's so soft it got stuck. I had to actually grind this off to take the cables out. But at least doing it this method is not completely irreversible. I can still throw cables in there and have them zip tied together like into each other. So it still has some type of guide. But this really sucks and I kind of bummed out that the new ones has the same thing with the boss with the with the mounts. Now it looks I'm gonna measure the C, but these are both mediums. And putting them side by side, you could already tell that the seat's a little shorter. But look at this, like if you compare like the seat, look at the difference in, in the length of the head tube. So this is slacker. This, this already got an angle headset pressed into it. But yeah, the two big owls here. This cannot fit a 200 mil dropper. It kind of stops right here. So I'm gonna measure the top tube, top of the seat tube to the top of this. So on the original 21, it was from here to exactly 13 inches. On the new one, it's actually shorter it's 12 and a half i guess that's exactly the difference in 10 millimeters so in the end you still cannot run a 200 mil dropper on this you're gonna have like this much seat exposure because it simply cannot go down far enough so the bend is literally in the same spot but the top tube it doesn't seem like they just lob the top tube off because in fact i mean the top of the seat tube off because if you look at from where the welds are it's like one and a half inch, one and a, one and a quarter. And this is like all, one and three quarters. So this whole triangle obviously has been changed. There's no hole over here anymore. This gusset is just here. So this was more like the style I like without this hole. That's because the stack got taller, the top tube got longer. So if you measure like from, this is all approximation. Like from, let's say, where the seat tube meets the weld over here. 22 inches. Yeah. It's like 22 and three quarters. Yeah, that's definitely like the top tube got longer, even though the seat got steeper. So this is just to show the difference in the frame, which is, you know, almost the same. Put them side by side which color do you think is nicer let me know in the comments and oh yeah this is not my frame so i can't build this this frame actually belongs to my friend dario and he needs to collect all the parts to build this thing up because he only has a 27.5 from the san quentin and it's gonna take a while for him to get a new fork and new wheels and new tires it's quite expensive to convert because nothing fits from one bike to the other but any updates on this frame, I'll let you know. Thank you.